Hello, my friends. Welcome to part two of Predictive Project Management Terminology Flashcards. Today, we're starting off from where we stopped, the letter C. Letter C has over 50 words that you need to know for your PMP exam. So let's jump into the very first one, cause and effect diagram, decomposition technique for root cause analysis, change, modification to project plan, deliverable or document, change control, a process to identify, document and approve project modifications, change control board, CCB, a group responsible for approving project changes, change control system, Procedures for Managing Project Modifications and Documentation Change Control Tools Manual or Automated Tools for Change Management Change Log A list of project changes and their status Change Management Plan Component for Project Plan for Change Control Change Request Formal Proposal to Modify Project Element Charter a document that authorizes a project or phase and identifies the project manager. Checklist analysis. Systematic review using a checklist. Check sheets. Tally sheet used for data gathering. Claim. Request for consideration or compensation under contract terms. Claims administration. Processing and communication of contract claims. Close project or phase, finalizing activities for project phase or contract. Closing process group, processes to formally close a project or phase. Code of accounts, a numbering system for work breakdown structure components. Collect requirements, determine and document stakeholder needs. Co-location. Project team physically located near each other. Communication methods. Procedure to transfer information among stakeholders. Communication models. Representation of communication process. Communication requirements analysis. Analytical technique to determine stakeholder information needs. Communications management plan. A plan for administering and disseminating project information. Communication Styles Assessment A technique to identify preferred communication method and content. Communication Technology Tools for transferring information among stakeholders. Conduct Procurements A process where we obtain seller responses and award contracts. Configuration Management Plan A plan for managing and accounting for project artifacts. Configuration Management System Procedures for tracking project artifacts and changes Conformance Meet an acceptable variation for quality requirement Constraint A limiting factor affecting project execution Context Diagrams Visual depiction of product scope and business system Contingency An event or occurrence that may affect project execution. Contingency reserve. Time or money allocated for known risks. Contingent response strategies. Responses to specific triggers, risk triggers. Contract. Mutually binding agreement between the buyer and the seller. Contract change control system. A system for collecting, tracking and communicating Contract changes. Control. Comparing actual with planned performance and recommended corrective action. This is a term you hear in industry under project controls, for example. Control account. Management control point for scope, budget, cost, and schedule. Control chart. Graphic display of process data against control limits. Control cost. Monitoring project status and managing cost changes. Control limits. Area composed of three standard deviations on either side of the center line or mean of data distribution. Remember, we have the upper control limit, the lower control limit. Control procurements. 
managing procurement relationships and contract performance, control quality, monitoring and recording quality management results, control resources, ensuring physical resources are available and monitoring utilization, control schedule, monitoring project status and managing schedule changes, control scope, again a process for monitoring project and product scope and managing changes, corrective action, intentional activity realigning project work with a plan, cost aggregation, summing cost estimates for work packages or cost control account, cost baseline, approved time phased project budget for comparison to actual results, cost benefit analysis, a financial tool to compare project benefits with cost, cost management plan, a component of the project plan for managing cost, cost of quality COQ, cost for preventing, appraising and failing to meet quality requirements, cost performance index CPI, a measure of cost efficiency for budgeted resources, cost plus award fee contract CPAF, payments for completed work and seller profits are made, understand there's a cost plus an award fee, cost plus fixed fee contract CPFF, reimbursement for allowable cost and a fixed profit, the fixed fee does not change, it is pegged in the beginning of the arrangement. Cost plus incentive fee contract CPIF, reimbursement of allowable costs and seller profits based on performance criteria. The incentive fee is based on performance criteria. Cost reimbursable contract, payment to seller for actual cost and fee. In general, this refers to all the cost reimbursable type contracts discussed. Cost variance CV, budget deficit or surplus at given point in time. Crashing, a technique used to shorten the schedule duration for the least incremental cost by adding resources. Critical chain method CCM, a schedule network analysis technique that modifies the project schedule to account for limited resources and uncertainty by adding buffers to protect the project completion date. Now the critical chain method is not discussed in the seventh edition the way it was discussed in previous editions. It might not even be there, but awareness of the critical chain is helpful in your project management journey. Critical path, the sequence of activities that represents the longest path through a project which determines the shortest possible duration. Critical path activity, any activity on the critical path in a project schedule. Critical path method, CPM, a method used to estimate the minimum project duration and determine the amount of schedule flexibility on the logical network path within the schedule model. Cumulative cost curve, a graph of cumulative cost plotted against time. Cumulative frequency diagram, a chart showing the cumulative frequency of observations in successive intervals of a variable. Customer, the person or organization that will use the project's product or service. Customer acceptance, formal notification that the deliverables submitted by the project satisfies the acceptance criteria and that the deliverable is accepted by the customer. Final one in the letter C is customer satisfaction, a term used to describe how well the project's product met the customer's requirements and expectations. So far, we've been covering over 50 definitions for your PMP exam. Be aware that the PMP exam has got over 500 definitions, and in the next series of videos, we're going to be taking down all those letters one by one. So far, we've covered A, B, and C. Bear in mind that the key goal here is not to cram. The key goal is to use this as a checklist and to ask the question, do I remember that? Do I understand that? And if the answer is no, 
open up the relevant PMBOK guide 6 or 7, or do a Google search or a ChatGPT probe to find out what is it that I'm thinking. Perhaps I don't really know these definitions as well. Validate your learning and you'll be laughing all the way to the score bank. Remember, you can go on down to www.praiseon.com, check out our training options, and it will be a pleasure to see you in one of our classes. Thank you and talk to you soon. Remember to hit like, subscribe, share with your friends and hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when I have another video about these definitions. We're taking down every single one of the 500 plus across predictive and agile. See you in the next video.